The Evolution of the Porsche 928 The Porsche 928 was produced from 1977 through 1995 and went largely unchanged over its 18-year production run. The biggest changes were improvements made to the power and drive trains, tweaks to the suspension, rearrangement of options and packaging, and mostly cosmetic adjustments aside from minor body additions to improve aerodynamics. 1978-1982, 928 The original Porsche 928 is most easily recognized by the absence of a rear spoiler, which gives the car a sleeker look as the trunk sits flush with the body. Additionally, the 928's original signature Lamborghini-like five-hole wheels came standard from the factory. Power came from Porsche's first ever eight-cylinder engine, a 4.5-liter Bosch fuel-injected V8 that offered 219 horsepower for the U.S. In 1980, the U.S. 928 received the larger 4.7-liter V8, which made 229 horsepower. Europe saw the addition of the 928S which also received standard front and rear spoilers to improve aerodynamics and larger brakes. Engineers also increased the engine's displacement to 4.7 liters, bumping power up to around 300 horsepower for Europe and 229 horsepower for the US. The name was changed to 928S in Europe, but America didn't get the updated S until 1983. In 1981, Porsche introduced the US-only competition package, 1983 to 1986, 928S. As mentioned above, although the 928S launched in Europe in 1980, it didn't reach the US until 1983. In addition to the bigger engine, the 928S was the first to receive large platter wheels. Its front and rear spoilers were polyurethane and colored matte black, and side panel moldings on the doors were added along with turn signal side indicators. By 1985, the V8 received another update. For the first time, the V8 received a four-valve per cylinder valve train, nudging power to 288 horsepower. The North American market received the updated 48-valve V8 first and was later available elsewhere in following years. 1987 to 1991, 928S4. The 928S4 featured a 48-valve. 5.0 liter V8 good for 316 horsepower in all markets. The engine sported new pistons, a new cylinder head with more aggressive camshafts and larger valves, and a 10.0 colon 1 compression ratio. Cosmetically, the 928S4 received rounder and budging turn signals, auxiliary lights, and fog light assemblies to modernize the front end. At the back, the taillights departed from the original four-chambered appearance to a single wraparound lens design integrated into the rear bumper. The taillights also sit flush with the bodywork, rather than being concave. In February of 1989, Porsche introduced a sportier variant called the 928 GT. It featured a dog-leg Manuel gearbox, a 330-horsepower version of the 5.0 liters V8 a more aggressive suspension, and special 7-spoke club sport wheels. 1992-1995, 928GTS Only 407 928 GTS examples made it to North America between model years 1993 and 1995. It separates itself from other 928s with flared rear wheel arches to accommodate larger wheels and a wider track. The largest wheels in all of the 928 history came equipped at 17 inches and 5 spoke cup design. The V8 S last hurrah involved increasing the displacement to 5.4 liters to make 350 horsepower. It's also told apart from other late 928s with body color matching front and rear spoilers, a twin pipe exhaust exit, and a signature full wrap around red light bar. If you're in the market, let's get this out of the way first. Just because you bought a Porsche 928 for the same price as a used Honda Civic, doesn't mean that you'll be paying Honda prices for parts and labor. It's sometimes said that if Porsche maintenance costs don't break you, you're ready for a Ferrari. Plan on at least a few eye-popping moments at the parts, 